Yeah, check, check, check. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, sound good. Sorry about this uh, mic situation. No, this is good. I think this is, this is better than having to be conscious about being further or far away. I just can control this. Yeah, that's a good point, but it's heavy. It's heavy. This is not a light mic. But luckily, we have this table here to kind of. I know. I see that. <laughs> and thankfully, we did because I wasn't. Th- I wasn't thinking. Oh, we started. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So, um, hey, dude. Welcome to sitting on a stoop. Thank you for having me. I've been really <laughs> excited to collab with you for so long. You're one of those that got away on Calibre Click. <laughs> Claire's wanted you on for a while. Um, and like, I was just like, yeah, he's on the list. Uh, and it was going to be, uh, you're one of those that just got cut off at the end. Yeah. I'm kind of sad about it, but you're here now. I am here. Yeah. I mean, you guys are amazing. I've always loved you guys' content. And so, um, while it's heartbreaking to know that it's, you know, other, other opportunities <laughs> such as this <laughs> yeah. have arisen. So, um, and I'm, I'm all about it and hopefully, uh, you know, it'll be more than just this. Oh no. Most deaf for sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we share a lot of similarities as far as like who we are as people because one we're i think we're around the same age yeah um so that's the you know the generation aspect of it is is definitely there i, I know every choreography and sync as well yes i was just so. gonna mention that <laughs> you mentioned that, that this past week and i was like <laughs> we are more similar than i thought i think it's just a filipino thing it, it really is because because like you know uh just dance performing in general is like it was a big Filipino oh, yeah. like push as far as parents are like oh yeah you know and like as a kid mo- like le- the dance teams that I was in and that were surrounding us and we were competing against uh, especially when it pertained to hip hop mm-hmm. mainly Filipino at least the good yeah. ones like Channel Islands Glendale High School uh, Mira Mesa mm-hmm. Carson I'm just naming them all down the list West Covina like mm-hmm. you know predominantly filipino dance teams mm-hmm. i mean even when you, even when you got into like the college aspect of it like you know pack, uh, pack modern out of mm-hmm. long beach um kaba out of mm-hmm. uh, irvine blah blah mm-hmm. blah i mean that, that whole filipino culture and dance is like a, a serious thing but now i look at these schools now same schools they're not predominantly filipino which is great no. yeah. I, i'm happy that like the, the the culture of what um i came up to grow up like and even found my wife in um is beyond Filipinos, but yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely changed. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely changed here in this area. But performing, whether it's you know how to play an instrument, oh, if you have to sing, <laughs> if you know how to dance, whatever it is, like especially those three, those are the three big things, right? Sing, play an instrument, dance. If you know how to do any of those, best believe you're going to be exploited oh. at your next <laughs> Filipino party. <laughs> as, your soon mom. As, as soon as your parents know you can do either one of those three things. Game over. You have to do it at least once. And, and uh, come do your come do your dance. Come do your song. Do you know how many times I played Titanic on the piano? <laughs> like you, I did you have a cousin that would sing it too? Yes. Th- I knew it. Yeah. But, but, it. but okay, so here in, I mean we'll probably get into this in Hala Hala time. Absolutely. Shout out to what is that real quick, but well, since we're here. When is that? That's a, what is a, it? What is oh, it? Oh, what, what Hala Hala time is a uh, a group of A foals who just so happen to all be Filipino. Mm-hmm. We all get together and talk about uh, our culture. Um, and our heritage being Filipino in our respective areas and how we grew up. I know there's a couple of Canadians. There's a couple people like, you know, me, Southern California, growing up with a bunch of Filipinos. Mm-hmm. Some who don't grow up with Filipinos, like Amor, for example, in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. But we all talk about our uh, Filipino heritage and the similarities between us and the similarities between other heritages, other mm-hmm. cultures. So um, we don't exclude those who are not Filipino. If anything, we include them. Like, dude, there's probably a lot of stuff that we share with each other yeah. heritage wise culture wise so mm-hmm. uh, we bring in guests who are filipino we intend to bring in Fili- you know people that are not filipino which is going to be really fun i'm have excited them, for that have them try some lumpia and pancit oh, and okay. send we, them some filipino uh, goods and can stuff can we talk right quick before we before we move on from that thought can we talk about how disappointed i was that we couldn't feed the non filipinos oh at gosh. slopes at slopes slopes at slopes yeah it's it's it, i mean the it was unfortunate cuz we got there like later in the day mm. they probably sold out of the we were what was it we were looking for the non filipino um entry food entry food yeah, the friendly the, the friendly food. foods yeah the ones that you were like not the balot right not the balot <laughs> that's, ones, that's expert level right the ones you you feed to uh the the the, the gateway the gateway filipino foods where mm. as soon as they have these foods they are gonna want filipino food wherever they go what's some of those foods dude um lumpia, lumpia for mm-hmm. sure um pancit pancit chicken adobo uh-huh is definitely one barbecue barbecue Any like the barbecue them. sticks yeah. um sometimes we'll, we'll get a little exotic like 
Sinigang uh, is kare typically kare. a good one. Kare kare because it's not like an overpowering mm-hmm. taste. Obviously, you don't want to give them too much bagoong. Because <laughs> <laughs> that'll steer them away. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't feed them. That. You, you, the thing is, like, a lot of our food is brown. Right. Right. So, and and I'm going to admit, I'm going to say the same thing with Mexican food, too, because I eat a lot of that due to my wife and where I'm from. Mm-hmm. They're not attractive. No. Like our food is not, it's hard to photograph. I mean, I've seen it done. Mm-hmm. And, and when it when it's done right, it's like, if you know what that food is, it looks delicious. Sure. But if you don't, if you're not introduced to it, it's like, what is that? Well, you know, um, the, the barbecue one is a very easy one because it's, yeah. it's a barbecue on a stick right. on top of a rice bowl. You mm-hmm. know, that's pretty much it. But I've seen some like, uh, you know, kind of new age, modern, like mm-hmm. younger Filipinos have these restaurants with yeah. like bowls and they make it look really attractive. I think we need more of that yeah. to be able to introduce to the Filipino food culture beyond where it's at right now. But yeah, go ahead. Let John, let John Kowali. Dude, you get them on, you get them on let John. Well, I mean, obviously, not the actually full on lechon where you see the whole pig mm-hmm. that might turn some people off, but you give them a small little chunk of it. Well, that's island culture though, in general, man. <laughs> if you see, uh, you see, you see the pig with the apple in the mouth. Yep. I mean, you know, I mean, that's just that's beyond Filipino culture. That's like islanders in mm-hmm. general, you know, Asian South Pacific. Yeah. That's you'll see that. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, no, no. That's that's exactly what it is. But I know that'll turn some people off. But that's what we were looking for that mm-hmm. day. That's uh, you know, when we took our friends to. Uh, that Filipino joint. And then we had it the day before, but we got there earlier in the day. So Wait, we got let's shout them out real quick. Who were the ones that wanted to risk this? Uh, it was Jean. <laughs> yeah. It was uh, Amish. Yeah. Amish. Uh, Emily and Ross. Oh, Emily and Ross. There there we go. The yeah. sources. Yeah. And they, they, they took the plunge without knowing what was happening. So I got to respect that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We and we had to be the liaison, you know? We had to we had to be like, all right, well. Trust me, you're going to like it. It doesn't look appetizing, but uh, let me tell you, it's good. The taste. The taste you're right. The taste. Mouth. The caldereta mm-hmm. is another. Oh, that's another one that I feel like. Yeah, it would. would be. I mean, you're, everyone's uh, uh, high cholesterol is going to jump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, gonna be so regardless bad. of whatever it is we, we feed them. Uh, but yeah, mm-hmm. they were they were totally down. Um, but we were like, nah, we can't cheapen the no, experience. No, this can't be your first time. Yeah. So we have to we have, we have to do this again round two. Next time we'll be prepared. Right. You know, but, but, give me, pick, take them down here to SoCal. Mm-hmm. Well, there's plenty oh of spots. Oh, can... there's no excuse for them not to have good <laughs> Filipino food in SoCal, which is like another thing. Like, uh, so you're you're mentioning like finding Filipinos all over the United States mm-hmm. and it, it's it's always like a proud moment when you find another Filipino, you know, I mean, this yeah. is turning into like mini holo holo time. Right. Oh, um, <laughs> but like, I, it's always like, they turn. Yeah, turn. And then be like, Filipino kebab. <laughs> and they'll be like, oh, Filipino kebab. Obviously, yeah. you just, man, you just yeah. talk to me. Like, oh, yeah. and, then, and then, boom, you just have a conversation about all that kind of stuff. And it's it's funny. Yeah. It's funny when you find them in the most random locations. Totally. Totally. Yeah, it's, it, it's, if, if it's, you know, obviously, you know, it's, it's, Pretty common in like a 99 ranch or like a seafood city. <laughs> but you, <laughs> you find them, yeah, yeah, right? So, yeah, right? Uh, but, you know, you find them in, in a Target or whatever mm-hmm. or what whatnot, and that's when it's good. But that's how it was with, for you and me because mm-hmm. I wasn't sure whether or not you were Filipino. <laughs> I, don't, I don't push it out that I, I think I claim more black than I am Filipino <laughs> uh, just because it's an obvious thing. And I, it's But 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 asking or, or being happy that someone is when you actually ask, yeah. that's a thing. Right. Like, you know, a lot of kids that are from the Philippines, they'll like come on and they'll comment. They're like, are you Filipino? I'm mm-hmm. like, well, I'm half. And they'll get excited because yeah. they're watching someone. You know, and we do the same thing. Like when we even when we find out like a celebrity is like a hint of it. Yeah. Like Haley Seinfeld. Right. <laughs> like she's only a hint of it. Yeah. But she still is. She, she is. Get, you get excited. Like, oh, yeah, we made it. And right. that's why Pacquiao is like a god to us. Yeah. He's a, yeah, because he's full on. <laughs> he's like full he, on. And, he, and, he, and, he, and, he, and he proudly like proclaims it, mm-hmm. right? But we get someone like Vanessa Hudgens and we're like. Oh, yeah. We're like, yeah. <laughs> she's ours. She's one of Bruno ours. Mars. <laughs> Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars. <laughs> he's ours. <laughs> he spoke Tagalog. Like that's, he's, he's one of us. He's short. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're definitely a really proud people, and I'm, I'm I'm proud to be Filipino, and that's why I think Hollow Hollow Time is uh, a passion project. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm I'm really excited whenever we get to record um, episodes of Hollow Hollow Time. Just being proud of being Filipino and being able to share that with non Filipinos. Mm-hmm. And for like last episode, I had to uh, show an example of Tabo. <laughs> and how to bathe with Tabo. I thought I'd, I'd never in my life would I ever have to. I was expecting to see one in the bathroom. <laughs> Come on, Raph. Right? I know, right? It's like a, a big gulp, a big gulp <laughs> cup at least. Oh, <laughs> I never thought in my life I'd ever have to explain to non-Filipinos over the internet what Tabo is. But, I mean, it happens. It's a cup. 
that used to wash herself. That's just pretty much what it is. So yeah. if you ever go into a Filipino household and you see one, yeah. that's what it is. That's what the tabo is. And yeah, we don't have bidets. <laughs> you know, I, I just recently installed one. It's a life changer. I want one. I, I understand. <laughs> I totally get it. You know, I, some people are a little put off by it, right. by the idea of it. But, you know, to be real, it's really refreshing. It really is. It really is. Yeah, and so. it's it's like a hands-free. No one you know? wants skid marks. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants – everybody likes to feel ultra clean, you know, and nobody – especially when it's less hassle, <laughs> less movement. Bidet is, bidet is a thing. We got to get a bidet sponsor. <laughs> oh, no, for real. We need a Tabu sponsor. Tabu that's sponsor. That's what <laughs> There's got to be one. <laughs> Feature our table, please. Oh, man. But to speak on the proudness, like I remember when I was in Afghanistan, I ran into a bunch of Filipinos mm. that are not from the United States. Like, okay. They're straight up from the Philippines. They're working. We got there. Uh, like they were setting up the tents, mm-hmm. like the large, till the, the day workers pretty much okay. you know, out of the Philippines. And like, you know, they're contracted to go over there and do all the grunt dirty sure. work in the major bases that don't really get any issues like mm-hmm. being attacked and stuff like that and i remember like a group of them they were like hammering down these giant nails to set up these tents and then they stopped me and they're like are you filipino <laughs> and i'm like yeah and they were like do you speak tagalog and i'm like no <laughs> and they're you see the disappointment yeah they're like, oh. but there was a sense of pride in their eyes that i of can course. sense that i'm like oh there's a filipino that's you know that's in this group of military people like right. doing some crazy stuff you know there's a proud moment and it, it it's there was this movie. I don't know if you've seen the movie Red Tails. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've seen the first one, like the Tuskegee Airmen with uh, yeah. Lawrence Fishburne. Mm-hmm. So you know the part when they land their airplanes? Mm-hmm. Uh, and it in no way equates to the idea of like, you know, sense of redemption that these, you know, black fighter pilots had going to a chain gang mm-hmm. and then them seeing that they're black. Yeah. Right. But it's. It, it, I can feel that sense of pride. Sure. Them looking at me. That mm-hmm. like, because, because you know, all of us are, are. We're not from here. We didn't right. st- we were we were either transferred over or brought over or we came on our own. Mm-hmm. So uh, especially like my mom, she, she came on her own. So right. to see to see someone make it, that's a part of that's why like when someone in our community makes it, right? You know, shout out to TD Briggs. Yeah, like when we find out he's Filipino, I'm like, oh yeah. You got this, one of bro. us. Yeah, he's one, he's of, one us. of us. <laughs> you got this, man. You're one of the biggest YouTubers in the Lego space. Yeah. Like you're, you're killing it. And he and he acknowledges his pridefulness yeah. about it. And when we were talking to him at Chicago, it's like, yeah, Filipino. <laughs> it's awesome. That's awesome. And it's the same. It seems. It seems to be uh, in a lot of places. I've heard one big place that nobody would ever really um, expect mm. is when going on a cruise. I've never really? been on a cruise, but a lot of the time, a workers. lot of the workers, a the lot workers. of the kitchen staff, mm-hmm. a lot of the cleaning staff, just a lot of the staff in general on cruises apparently are a lot of Filipinos. And when you go on a cruise and they see your Filipino, you go to eat and they see that they hook you up. Oh, yes. My <laughs> parents had the the best time at a cruise uh, once, they, once the chef and the kitchen staff you know, knew that they were Filipino, they were just unlimited, mm-hmm. anything, just boom, whatever they wanted. Even some of the stuff that only the kitchen stuff, the kitchen staff was going to have yeah. to eat that wasn't necessarily on the menu. Mm-hmm. They got the the family meal family stuff. Family meal status, the extra <laughs> round twos. Yeah, no, yeah. I totally get that. It's I think I think there's just that's a acknowledgement of struggle. Just like, you know, like here we have like the Mexican or Latino culture with La Raza. Yep. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. there's a sense of, you know, like, like, I mean, I don't want to say it. it doesn't happen, but you know when you see a Latino driving by, you know the the day worker mm-hmm. uh, at Home Depot or yep. like uh, you know, the guy that's selling flowers instead mm-hmm. of begging for money on the streets or mm-hmm. you know selling oranges or whatever, you know there's a sense of like a reminder of humility, mm-hmm. you know where you're at, and then you know a reminder of where it can be and where our people are trying to like you know stride from. Where in the right. Filipino world, it's like you know our our, our islands are overpopulated mm-hmm. or at least where the cities are um and then you know everyone just wants a better life and and in our generations like our parents came here for a better life right right and now no more Filipinos are coming here for a better life yeah, they're, going, no. they're going everywhere they're going to saudi arabia they're mm-hmm. going to like all these random countries in like you know latin america or europe and europe, like, what? Yep. Mm-hmm. like what are you doing over here? <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> but you know it, it, it's fun to see the 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 culture is still the same sure you know wherever you go yep um the language is still the same and like there's a couple youtubers that i that i follow just because they're filipino in like europe or whatever like this one I, she's french she doesn't speak english well but she speaks french she's french she speaks mm-hmm. french, uh, french but when she gets into that 
that Filipino accent, it's mm. still the same. same when she yeah. talks about her mom, it sounds like us talking about her mom. Yes, <laughs> like I love that. The 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 P's, the F's, the P's like the, the sounds. Yep. So uh, the struggles, the culture, and you know, it, it's it's just funny. Well, it totally is. I mean, that reminds me of just the last episode. I was I was explaining my amours and Nicole's kind of roles in a Filipino party. Oh yeah, and I was like, "Amor, you were the kid in the you were the kid in the yeah. corner playing yeah. their Game Boy, kind of just hiding, hiding." And lucky and, guy, man. yeah, was lucky dude, because he had four older sisters that would steal the spotlight. That would have to be the yeah, there would have to be the one, right? And then Nicole being the the singer, mm-hmm. you know, I had to be the dancer, just, yeah. whatever it was. So imagine all, oh well, not Amor because he wouldn't be hiding. But if you two were in the same, oh, sh- it wouldn't be like it would be like. Parents battle, making you guys battle, <laughs> right? It wouldn't be like, oh, you two do this together. Yeah. No, it's like, oh, okay, do that other dance. Right. Do that other dance. Do the other oh, dance. Sing that other song. You sing the other song. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so it wouldn't, you guys wouldn't stop. No, it wouldn't. It would be all night, yeah. all night long. But yeah, I mean, regardless of geographical location, it's all the same. And I think mm-hmm. that's, like you said, that universal struggle, but universal just kind of upbringing, mm-hmm. um, which unfortunately I feel like is being lost Unto us. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't, like, I don't, my kids, my kids are only a quarter Filipino. Mm, yeah. So they don't, you know, they look like it in a way. Um, so they're half Mexican, quarter black, quarter Filipino. They don't know squat. I mean, my mom teaches them what she does, but I mean, my, like, I, my mom was speaking me Tagalog, like, until I was like three or four. Mm-hmm. And then she stopped. Mm. Right. I, I don't, I don't know why. She just stopped. Um, and then, you know, I did have Filipino friends, but we were all in the same boat. We were all right. speaking English. So we kind of lost the, the the use of the language, which, right. kinda, which sucks. Right. Like, I wish I could speak the Gala fluently to this day. Sure. You know, yeah. instead of just understanding what you're telling me and talking trash and right. then nodding and be like, I understand what you're saying. I wonder who you're saying. <laughs> you're just lucky I can't respond back in the way I would want to. Right. So I'm just going to keep walking. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, e- either or, it, it's, it means how we got into this place, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, it's true. That's Shout out to Raf. Raf, yeah. Another so, yeah, Filipino. Where, are, where are we? Where are we? We are at a, we're at Bricks and Minifigs, Ontario. Mm-hmm. Um, the homie Raf, uh, as soon as, I think I, I walked into the store maybe a week or two after they opened in their first initial place. Mm-hmm. And uh, we hit it off right away. And I think it was that. It was the, well, A, we were both big, you know, A-foles. Mm-hmm. We uh, bonded over Lego. But I think it was a secondary, like, hey, we're both brown. <laughs> hey, we're both Filipino. Uh, yeah. Filipino? Mm-hmm. Filipino Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, yeah, shout out to Raf. He's mm-hmm. got um, Bricks and Minifigs Ontario uh, here. Uh, and very, very soon, go. Bricks and Minifigs Corona. First um, of the uh, double ownership in that's SoCal. Right. That's right. That's right. So, yeah, if ever you're in the area, uh, Bricks and Minifigs, Ontario, great, uh, great, great uh, shop. Mm-hmm. Right now they're in a. Uh, right now we're in their temporary location. Yeah. But, dude, it's it's amazing. It the next spot's like gonna it. be like around the corner. It's not gonna be that far. So once right. you know where this place is, the next place when it opens up next year. Yeah, early right. next year, and I think it's still in the same plaza. So, um, really easy to find. Yeah. Really good, really good stuff. Um, and then Raf and Shauna, who own uh, the joint, really amazing, mm-hmm. fantastic people. I'm excited for them. I'm, uh, I know it's a franchise, and it's good to see when you have a franchisee like do multiples. Yeah. So that means that they're winning. They yeah. know what they're doing, mm-hmm. their experience, and the risk. You know, I mean, how many Bricks Minifigs have opened up in the past like year here? Dude, just here in Southern California, it's like it's just exponential. I feel like there's at least. Let's name them. Let's name them. So first we had Anaheim, mm-hmm. we had Ontario. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to have Corona soon. San Diego. San Diego. Uh, Corona, Temecula, Temecula, Lomita, uh-huh. uh huh, Whittier, Whittier. I haven't been to that one yet. That's technically like L.A., L.A. So I should probably take a look at that one. Yeah. Irvine, Irvine popped uh, up. Yeah, uh, I know that there's going to be one in Orange. Mm-hmm. Uh, so not super far away from Anaheim, but but in that area, none close to me though, because I'm north of L.A. The yeah, Pasadena is going to open up, yeah. so that's close. I know that there's. Some out in Long Beach. <laughs> still far. Dude. I know. It's still far because you have to travel all the I have way to go across. through. Yeah. I have to take the 405 or the 5. And we know the 10 shut down. Yep. So it's Good a luck. Pain. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to anything. <laughs> Come on. I mean, see, the things like north of LA, a lot of those neighborhoods are very expensive in rent. Yeah. So like I don't foresee Like I'm, I I think if it were to happen, it'll be like on the outskirts, which is cool with me because it's easier to get to. Sure. But, you know, come on. We need something. Like the closest one north would be uh, San Luis Obispo. 
Oh wow, which is a nice that's, that's a nice location. I've I never been there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I I technically want to move to that city, or I mean, it's a town. But yeah. it's I just love it. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful, and it, that's a, definitely an ideal spot, like mm. California. Spot, yeah, that's right? like California, like the good parts of everything. Like it's green. Yeah, the ocean's right there. Mm-hmm. You can still go to the desert. Want, like it's just a perfect college town that I think like a lot. I mean, I want to even call it. It is a college town, but yeah. like it's still it's like nice. Good old, like, what Americana should be. No, yeah. California. I, I 100%. 100%. But, yeah, it just surprised me how many bricks and minifigs uh, are popping up. But it surprised me, but doesn't surprise me. Mm. Obviously, Lego is yeah, it's getting ever its popularity, growing. Yeah. yeah. Popularity. Uh, and uh, with places like this accompanying, let's say, you know, a, a Lego store, a regular mm-hmm. Lego store. Obviously, you can't sell your your lego sets to a regular mm-hmm. retail lego store like if you just so happen to um no not have space for it or it yeah that's your collection one. anymore right yeah, space um it's like you can't offload on a no, regular retail no. store so with these with stores like this like it's perfect for that mm-hmm. right or if you're looking just for a specific thing and obviously majority of people are looking for a specific minifigure these, yeah, these right. are an easy way of getting that. And plus, it's also cool to see like sets built that you never seen built. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I was walking around here. I'm like, oh, I never seen this like in person. Right. I've always seen the box, but right. you know, it's a you know, low probability that Lego would build this set exactly at a Lego store. Mm-hmm. So to see it built, like, oh, this is what it actually looks like. Ah, I like it. Oh, I don't like it. Sure. But, you know, Bricks and Minifigs definitely gives an opportunity to offload. And right. I, I recently offloaded like at least three thousand dollars worth of stuff. <sighs> Yeah, um, it feels so good. I bet. Um, I know I could have gotten the value of what it's worth, but it would have taken longer because you would have do it through eBay or BrickLink and just waiting for that specific buyer, mm-hmm. right, to buy it at the price point that you, you want, want. You want to sell it. Right. So you know, or I know, like you know, time for me is more important than like sure. you know, value of this. Mm-hmm. Am I going to get the value of this like sitting six years from now? I'm like probably not. Right. I need the space. That's more of my value. My mm-hmm. time is more of my value. My spending time doing this with my friends, family, more of my value. So yep. there's so many things. Yeah, exactly. And you don't have to go through, you know, the trouble of shipping it. Mm-mm. You don't have to pay the shipping costs. You don't have to worry about varying shipping costs if no. it's going somewhere yeah. else, far, close, whatever it is. Um, and then, of course, you get to build rapport with the uh, yeah. with local AFOLs, which is, I think, one of the nicest things about being, fair, you know, being local to this joint. Just talk shop. Sometimes I don't even, you know, uh, sometimes I'll come here and not buy anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the thing is, like, you go to a Lego store, right? The probability you're going to find a, uh, find another AFOL is pretty high, yeah. right? But they're far and few between. And then when you go in there. You know, AFOL is just going there for one specific thing to browse and get and bounce. They're not here to kick it. Nope. Right. They're just in and out. Mm-hmm. And at Bricks and Minifigs, you'll see people that are here to just kick it. Mm-hmm. And you know for a fact that majority of them, at least, at least I would say 60%, sure. know the fandom pretty well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, if you want to geek out, mm-hmm. if you don't have the opportunity to go to a convention or anything else like that, go into your Bricks and Minifigs. Like yeah. the people behind the counter are fans of the of the hobby. Yep. You know, they can talk Lego all day, mm-hmm. you know, uh, whereas in a Lego store. Yeah. They've you got, know, they're, on, they're on the clock. They've got to go near. I mean, obviously these people on the clock too, but they yeah. are, but they're also, but they're also not supposed to talk about their own fandom with the, right. with, I mean, I, I know that from working. Oh, there so, you go. <laughs> you're not supposed to, I mean, uh, which we can get into in a second. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be like, you know, and that's like partnering up and, and kind of seeing, our bricks and minifigures go on the map because we always see Emily's yeah. bricks and minifigures go on the map because she shouts them out. Right, <laughs> but uh, um, but like you know, beyond the brick, they they do their they do pretty good with that. But the 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 loyalty behind your own bricks and minifigs is actually pretty something that I kind of want to build up as well. Sure, so shout out to you know Ontario slash Corona and then yeah. uh, Lomita as well. Yeah, shout out. I mean, they're great great places just to just to be at. Mm-hmm. Um, and and again, build rapport with some really good you know really uh, passionate people. And of course, you know, build rapport with other AFOLs. It's nice to kind of be like, uh, hey, are you uh, Pen Renewed on Twitch? But like, yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> actually I am. <laughs> but it's that's because of Raph. Raph, you know, Raph has always been really cool uh, with, you know, shouting me out here. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, are you, on, are you on Twitch? Like, uh, yes. It's like, you know, Legos on Twitch? They're like, no. And, you know, hands him over my card or something like that. Mm-hmm. So he's been really cool with that as well. Oh, so he shouts you out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do the same thing for him. It's like, yeah. hey, I know that you don't live in, in Ontario, California, mm-hmm. but if you wanted to buy some stuff from them and you wanted to support, like, they sell their stuff online. So he's actually gotten a lot of yeah, bikes. Yeah, I know. That, that's, that's, 
I mean, like partnerships like that, it's word of mouth is definitely builds loyalty. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Like I would trust in, you know, people that I watch like you to stand up for something like a, a, like this mini a brick mini fig versus another one mm -hmm. or a Lego store. Why come in here? So yeah. that totally makes sense. Um, but land. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was uh, trying to find a good transition to get into that, but I'll just like, <laughs> you know, we're cut, we're, we're getting, we're already halfway through and I'm like, okay, we need to get into this. Yeah. This is the topic. Right. Yeah. I've been in the land, the Lego ambassador network for uh, about a year now, a little over a year now. Um, and it's been uh, honestly a really great experience for mm -hmm. the most part. The, it does have its its ups and downs. It has some uh, times in which it can be taxing, you know, a heavy crown to bear. Yeah, but for the most part, it's it's been a, a very blessed experience of to course. be able to share these particular sets and, and moments with uh, my community, mm -hmm. with the the community on Twitch. And so it's been it's been really great to get and introduce things like uh, most recently the Venator. Obviously, there's uh, there's plenty of videos that will talk about it. Maybe just talk about the box, or just talk about the specs, or even go into a review of it fully built and what have mm -hmm. you. But I think there's a what's what's really crazy about doing it on Twitch is that they're seeing it done brick by brick. Yeah, you're building it live, building in it person, live in person, yeah. real they time. Get, yeah, real time. They get to comment on things in real time. I get to talk about my input about the set in real time in the middle of the set, after the set, before the set, whatever it is. And so it's been really cool to do big sets like that. Yeah. And of course, like, you know, small ones and whatnot. I'm going to just do the, uh, just for the the hit of it, must be nice to get for free. <laughs> <laughs> so like me, I have to pay for the, I'm just kidding. I just have to throw it out there because that's always a thing that people it is, say. It's right, like, right. always a hate and hate against LAN uh, sure. members. It's like, oh, you guys get it for free. Yeah. Oh, you have to say positive things about it. Exactly. And I'm glad that you bring that up because, yes, it, it, it is nice. And I always am I'm very thankful uh, to Lego. I always say I feel very, very blessed that uh, I have this opportunity. Uh, but definitely it is for the community. It's the yeah. first and foremost is for my community. And there are times where I said where I was like, you know, I said ups and downs. The downs are where um, I can lose credibility with people. Mm -hmm. because, That's always a thing. Right? I can lose yeah. credibility with people because – you know, I'm in the land mm -hmm. and that because I'm in the land, I have to say I'm obligated to say positive things about the sets that I get. Yeah. When that is far from the truth, uh -huh. that is far from the truth. Lego wants me to be completely honest mm -hmm. about these things. If there are things that I dislike, obviously the best way to go about that, which I've always done on my channel, even pre land is to talk any constructive things or why I didn't like it, yeah. why it's not, why I dislike it or what can be, what can be done to improve upon that mm -hmm. rather than just bash whatever the heck it is and bash it to the ground, completely obliterate a, the design of a set because I don't like it. Uh, I always remind my community, my community knows this, but I always try and push that um, while I am generally pretty positive about, the sets that I get, but mm -hmm. I'm generally pretty positive about majority of things uh, in general. Yeah, and that's what we spread at uh, in the on the channel is positivity. Um, yeah, but, why would you be going around trashing stuff all the time? You know, right. It's not really something that's that's not the kind of community you want to like grow with. You know no, what I mean? no, that makes sense. But at the same time, um, again, I feel really, really blessed just to show this stuff to my community, and I, and I value their input on what they think and what. What 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 they would like, and mm -hmm. that stuff where I give my community a voice, yeah, back to Lego and say a real time voice because you're talking to them, right? Straight up. Yeah, yeah, a real time. So that's voice. the difference between like Twitch and YouTube is that you're able to get real time <laughs> comments mm -hmm. and agreements or disagreements or whatever right there, right mm -hmm. then and there. Whereas in YouTube, you have to wait until someone says something in the comments. Section, sure, which is a small majority of like the people who actually watch the video, right? And then whether or whether or not they'll take the extra step to even comment, yeah, on it, yeah, right, rather than just hit the, the dislike mm -hmm. on your video. And it's really nice to get that and report that and then put that in these reports that I have to do for uh, for these sets that I have to review about some of these. Uh, high profile and even some low pro low profile sets. Mm -hmm. I mean, that makes sense. Um, so a lot of people, it's another round of uh, new land members have mm -hmm. now joined the team mm -hmm. of a number of you guys. Mm -hmm. um, but before we get into that, like I, I feel like a good remedy for uh, that, that stigma of you always have to be positive would be 
because I, I, there's a few land members that I always watch the reviews for, and, and Tiago is one of them. Yeah. Like Tiago is a good one. He's a, his channel's great. You know, he he knows what he's talking about. You know, he knows what it, also what he's doing behind the camera, which sure. makes a a big difference when you're watching a review. So, but when he does, a lot of people don't like to say it, but he does criticize the set mm -hmm. and he does it constructively. Yep. He does it in a positive light. Mm -hmm. He always questions um, the BTS for set. For example, he's like, I don't know who this is for. <laughs> yeah. This is not for me. He's like, it's it's not something I would. Buy. Sure. But I think we're, if I remember correctly, it was like it took a minute before it got to that portion. Sure. So I think a good way um, for people to not see as land members when they're reviewing something, whether it be in text format, in Twitch or or live sure. uh, or in review, on, on, like the afterthought of YouTube um, would be to fully disclaim that in the beginning. Absolutely. Like, I, this, this set's not for me. Oh, and also I, I've, I've seen this a lot and this is for any land people that are here, like you have to disclose that you got this for free. Right. That, that's just the thing that you're supposed to do as far as the FTC is concerned. Like mm -hmm. were, you, were you given the set for free and you can't hide that at the end. It has right. to be noted in the beginning and you have to put promote. That's a legal thing that we have to do. <laughs> so make sure you know, you are disclosing that fact uh, if you're listening to this. Because I'm starting with this. People were really good at this in the very beginning. And now, what? Oh, I know you got this for free. Right. Why are you saying it's the end? Why saying this at the end if you're saying it at all? Sure. It has to be in the beginning. Remember, we're, we're all on YouTube. We're, we're running off the laws of the United States. Right. You have to disclose in the beginning. All right. That being said, um, I'm seeing, you know, all these new content creators coming right. up, you know, that have been accepted into the land. Sure. And then a lot of people who you would think might have an a better chance of getting in, not getting in. Mm -hmm. um, and this past week, we've been seeing all the I'm in land and mm -hmm. you've been seeing the backhand DMs mm -hmm. and backhand conversations that oh, I didn't get in. Yeah, And there are, you know, I'll, I'll just use myself as an example. Sure. Like, I didn't get into land. Mm -hmm. This is my second attempt to get mm -hmm. into land. Um, and I forgot. <laughs> I just said it the send yeah, forget of the application. I, just, I think I, I, I applied right before the last, uh, mm -hmm. review, not this past one, but the one before. Okay. And I, I applied because uh, I wanted to see what, cause I knew that was when they redid the template about the questions that mm -hmm. are in there. I'm like, yep. well, I'm reading it. Let's just like, let's just put it through and see what they say. Sure. Um, and last time, you know, Jordan and his team were good at getting back to me with feedback why yeah. I got denied. And why I got denied last time was they said, you know, my uh, they're concerned about my growth. And they said that I have, there's people that I represent are already represented in other communities. And I'm like, okay, uh, I'll accept that. Yeah. Uh, knowing in my back of my head, I'm like, that sounds like a BS answer, but I'll, I'll take it. Um, so this time around, you know, I've tripled my growth since mm -hmm. the first, you know, first time the the reach has if you were to count instagram and and tiktok mm -hmm. it blew up significantly right so i know i have a reach i have a defined audience that's not represented who have been who you know other creators out there have reminded me that yeah no one's really doing this here mm -hmm. you know i'm a shout out to the veteran community out there yeah. like they're, they're no one's repping them and, and i've seen lego i've seen other Crew, like I was, I, okay, I'll just say it out loud. Lego Masters did something with a a, a non prov of a gentleman that was giving Lego to veterans okay. who are at PTSD. Mm -hmm. I have not seen Lego promote that anywhere. Mm -hmm. no, one, no one knows about nope. it. But Will uh, Will Arnett was in it. He mm -hmm. was in the video. So I know they're not actively trying to promote this like side of the world and this side sure. of the community. And I know that runs against me too. Right. So I'm not ignorant to that fact. Yeah. I'm also not ignorant to the fact that I also got let go from Lego. So right. I have a, if you were to, cause you have to enter your social, right. Right. On the application. So if I come up, you're going to see, I got terminated. Right. And we'll, and we'll get into why and how unfair that is um, in a little bit, but I'm seeing all these other cr creators come in and they're, they're upset. And I guess I, I am too, Sure, but I'm upset for a different reason. I know the probability of me going in is probably low because sure. it's like a seven people process, right? Like yeah. they all have to say yes. Um, and, you know, I got my denial letter after the fact. Sure. Like I didn't get it like right away. Like, right. you know, I've seen all these people like I got to land, blah, blah, or, you know, they're at land. I got accepted to land. And then I'm then I'm getting all the people that got denied. Mm -hmm. um, and I haven't received mine yet. Mm -hmm. And then it was literally last night the mm. email came in and i'm like oh that's right <laughs> that's right i applied i applied <laughs> i just thought i just thought because i thought i put it in in the last you know the you know the, the last date. round yeah. yeah last due date and it just never got back to me right 
And I'm like, okay, maybe just, you know, I'll math the thought, right. you know, whatever. I got to apply again. Um, and I did it because mm-hmm. I'm like, eh, I'm not, I'm never going to apply anymore. And then I got to the dial there. So I'm like, right. okay, so I was definitely in conversation then. Yeah. Whether, whether I should or should not, and I probably just didn't pass all seven. So sure. I'll accept that because the, I do want to, I don't know if I should, I want to reach out and be like, okay, I, I honestly want a no BS answer. Like why, yeah. what is it? Cause I either, I, I move on, sure. you know, or like I change something. Sure. And to me, and to be honest, I'm not going to change anything. Right. I like being the PG 13 YouTuber. Yeah. I like swearing when I want to, sure. you know, showing combat footage of, you know, why I'm here. Mm-hmm. Cause you know, there's a large community out there that's not represented by my Lego at all. And it's the military. Sure. And, we know why yeah. we're not oh, dumb. Exactly. we're not ignorant to the fact we're not dumb about it um and the i posted two reels recently slash shorts and one of them was um you know just an homage to like my unit going yeah. to afghanistan that was a good um one, yeah. using lego and it got a lot of love like oh my i've never had so much love for a video not from just my own battery like mm-hmm. my own guys that reached out to me via text and or people i didn't know right sure. it's been shared so many times and then the one after that which is I would recommend staying out of that com- that comment section. Uh, it's like, would Le- should Lego do the Lego military? Mm-hmm. Um, and then just, you just see people just going just at it. Debating on and that. you uh-huh. know, there's some veterans in there that are for or against, and sure. it, it, a lot of those comments are valid. Like right. it makes sense. Um, and it's a very touchy subject. Sure. So we, we, I can understand why Lego wouldn't want it, but the growth I had just on that video alone, mm-hmm. like I've never. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying on Instagram, you know, it's just, uh, I like making short content cause it's easy. Sure. Like I can easily put it out right. and I just, I get that dopamine mm-hmm. from making content. Of course. And I, I love making regular long length videos, but yeah. it takes me a long time to do that. But sure. the short ones, it's like a, the easy dopamine. I've never grown so much from like, well, I mean, YouTube didn't really grow so much, but on Instagram, I gained like 2000 followers Dude, just on that one yeah. reel. And a lot of the, and I'm looking at the people that you can see who's following you. A lot of them are veterans. Yeah. That have no Lego attachment whatsoever. So right. I don't know if it's gonna hurt me, but like, but that just shows that there is a reach yes. out there. And it doesn't have to be the negativity, the political side no. of you know what it is. Cause I, I get it. Like when you look at police, a law enforcement, you look at the soldiers and military, right. you see government. Yes. You forget that law enforcement is there to keep order and protect sure. you. You know, yeah, they're bad apples. Yeah. But they're, they're there to protect. And we can see it in California yeah. right now. The, the defunding the police is hurting yeah. everybody. San yeah. Francisco, you know, here in L.A., like, you know, everywhere you see defunding the police, it's it's having a backwards effect. Sure. You know, like retail stores like this risk getting jacked and right. the police are not going to do anything about it. Nope. You know, and then the military side, people forget that the United States military, although if you want to take the political side out of the United States military. We are a very benevolent, like benevolent. <laughs> I'm going to say that word right now. Benevolent force, right? Right. We don't attack civilians. Mm-mm. We generally care, and I can attest to that. I was put in a situation where, you know, I'll just try to say, forgive me if this is this a little bit too much for people. So there was a there was an incident in Afghanistan when I was at where a child, two child, I guess you both to be children. One was a teenager. She was a woman. Mm-hmm. She was a girl. She was probably in her mid teens. Mm-hmm. And then we had a boy. They came up to our line, and they were messed up. Jeez. Well, the boy was messed up and we we're like, what happened? We have to bring a translator out there and I'm like, what happened? And then, um, well, first off, before that point, it's a girl uh-huh. in that culture. We can't talk to you. Yeah, yeah. And this is before the intermix of, you know, women into the combat arms. Like mm-hmm. now they can easily get that, but we didn't have any women. Right. So we're like, okay, we need, a, we need, a, we need a medic over here. We need a doc. We need, we need somebody of medical that way. That's like our rules of engagement with dealing with women in, in Afghanistan. So we have to wait till he got there. So we're waiting on this kid. <laughs> we can't do anything for him yet. Mm-hmm. So we brought, we brought in a doc. Doc's like, you know, making sure that nothing's wrong with him. And then we try to figure out and we brought a translator what happened. And he just said, you know, he messed with the grenade. And <laughs> oh. so he's still alive. So I'm just going to fast forward. He's still alive. I don't know how they are now, but they're, we gave them help. The problem was, is that like when we asked for a, a, a medevac, so we called two helicopters coming because we're in the front lines. We're in the mm-hmm. very front. That's why the people came up to us. The general behind the other, by the behind the other end was like, no, we can't risk sending two helicopters over there to pick them up. We didn't do this because mm-hmm. they're like, can you confirm that this was done by us? Mm-hmm. And I was looking through all our communications in the area. It wasn't us. We didn't, they, they, they touched a landmine or something that was an old Russian or old grenade and boom, it blew up. Mm-hmm. And they just came to us because we're the closest medical thing. Right. So then this is now our, our, our captain has to make a decision. Yeah. It's like, okay, what do we do? Right. We have a, you know, the Western thought 
the Western culture in us is like, we have to help these children no matter right. what, they're mm-hmm. children. Um, and then, but the generals on the other end are like, do we risk sending two Blackhawks over there, keeping and taking them somewhere like far away when we need those Blackhawks for our own troops in case right. our own troops get messed up? Mm-hmm. So that's risk number one. Risk number two, we can pick them up, but it's a girl. Mm. We can't take them anywhere. If yeah. we take them anywhere, she comes back to her village, she gets stoned to death. Right. Okay. So now our captain has to make a decision. Do we just let them die? Mm-hmm. Do we give them aid and then wh- they're going to die later? Do we take them or do they're going to die? Mm-hmm. Next best thing, do we risk sending a, a squad or a platoon to go get an elder in that village? Oh, man. You, this is Taliban area. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, they, we want to, you know, tell them, explain to them, this is what needs to happen. You need to come with us. Right. So we can medevac, medevac all of you and, and all that kind of stuff. So that's another risk. Yeah. And what do we do? We all did it from yeah. the very bottom level to the general. Helicopters came out. We, yeah. our, our, we, the platoon was sent out. We picked up a, a villager, an elder, and we all flew him out. Yeah. This took hours. Jeez. So this kid was literally holding himself, and we when we patched him up as best we could. Right. But he could. He needed to see a surgeon. Right. Of right. Course. So that's the type of military we are. Yeah, and that's stuff that's not uh, shown, and, no, it's, and not. it's not talked about. And it, obviously, there's a negative light, both military and of course. police. But yeah. deep down, at you know the the core, like. Regardless of yeah. that, like I'm, I know these people. These, mm-hmm. these, some of these people are, are friends. Some of them are family. Human. Yeah, we're they're just human. Human. You they're know? human. And and I think a lot of people forget that the people that are serving don't mm-hmm. give a crap about the political stuff. Right. We're there to do a job. We're there initially to stand on that wall so mm-hmm. that people can talk trash. Sure. Right. That's the police are there. Right. They're there to stand on that wall. Sure. So people can ridicule them. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I'm in that same boat too. I've had I've had my fair share of you know police brutality. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but and, and and but I still respect the fact that they have a, they have a job to do. Job. You know, sometimes you need them. Yeah. Sometimes you don't. Right. But you're always going to cry when you do need them. Right. And that's the same thing with the military. Like you know, again, I gotta stress to take the political stuff aside. Unfortunately, it hurts going back, going going back to the fact that it hurts um, chances of land for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back. Yeah. That and. And, and and I want to say this just to you, and I think just to, regardless of whether or not you got in, doesn't make you less, more or less of a content creator. I appreciate that. And and I I I've I've expressed this to you that uh, I've always been a fan of how you've just been able just to be yourself, <laughs> and you 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 have no filter, which <laughs> which I which I love. There's a there's a slight, there's slight, there's slight. yeah. You I can go, you can probably go off the rails, <laughs> and you had the opportunity to go <laughs> off the rails, but for the most part, you've been um, no filter, and <laughs> and I and I and I and I love that. I love that. I feel like oh, we okay. need more of that, right? Yeah. We need more of that. And although it might not be aligned with Lego, the company mm-hmm. as as a whole, I think it's in line. It's clearly in line with. With AFOLs, it's clearly yeah. in line with it, with an audience, and I think that the fact that, like you said, a lot of uh, sure veterans, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> a lot of veterans loved your stuff, commented your stuff. I mean, you have an audience that is specific to you that might, again, might not necessarily be in line with a company, but you have good content, and the content creators that are out there, you have good content, and you don't need somebody or something a company whatever it is to tell you whether or not you have yeah good content. yeah I, I i have to remind uh shout to i don't know if i'm this part of shout to you caleb um <laughs> <laughs> i know you're listening to this uh but we we're having a conversation about you know creators and being not being in line mm-hmm. right um and you look at you know the kind of content that they make and i'm like do you think being in land will help you with this? Mm-hmm. Because you make really good stuff. Mm-hmm. Like you're 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 on track to be one of the largest YouTubers in the space, or mm-hmm. if not one of the biggest ones, if you continue on the same track that you're doing. And a lot of that requires your own creativity, right. not being forced to do a review, not being you know figuring out when you can say something, when you cannot, because there are limitations to what you have to do. Um, there are requirements that you have to do when you're in land. It's not just you get free sets. Yeah, like you have to do stuff, right. whether it be a simple post, right, or you know you know make this big extravagant thing. Like mm-hmm. it's 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 still something. There's a give and take there. Sure. And I feel like recently, when I'm really analyzing who's in land, as far as the YouTube side, I can only speak on the YouTube side. Sure. Um, those who are um, in land, they're lacking their own personal strengths and their own creativity. Mm. Like um, 
I know some of the big ones out there. I know what they're capable of. Sure. Like I know what they can do behind a camera. They're behind the editing tool, behind what they can actually build as a mock. But they're not doing that. Sure. They're focusing on the reviews. They're mm-hmm. focusing on you know uh, what they have to do for Lego. I mean, shout out to Emily I mean, and Ross. Like they're they've really balanced that. You know, having to do land stuff and mm-hmm. then their own stuff. So I think like the, uh, they're a good example of doing all of it. Sure. But there are creators out there who are part of land who I've I've had really high hopes to see where they would go, and mm-hmm. I'm looking at it a year, two years later. I'm like, I know you're capable of more. Mm-hmm. So then I had to remind other you know, creators this. I'm like, look, stay creative. Mm-hmm. Like stay keep. You don't need them. And mm-hmm. look at the biggest YouTubers that are out there. Mm-hmm. None of them are part of land. <laughs> like TD generic. None of them are part of land. Mm-mm. They don't need it. They right. they they do they are 100 focus on their own content. They're making way more money. Right. But then in the end, it comes down to validation, as you said. Right. And that's what I was seeking through mm-hmm. land. Like I don't. Honestly, to I don't know how land would benefit me at all. Sure, like, I I really don't. I don't post that much Lego content that would equate to what you would normally see land does. But see, that could be like what makes me different. I'm sure, like, I don't I don't do reviews anymore. Right. But but what I was saying is like for me, it's a more selfish reason to why I apply to land. It's not because I want free Lego. I could care less about that. Yeah. Um, what I wanted was uh, redemption. Sure. Right. Because uh, anyone that knows my history arc with Lego, yeah, I got fired. Mm-hmm. You know, so. And the way I was terminated, I didn't agree with. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't, it wasn't that I did anything malicious right. at all. And my work ethic and my, I guess we'll say resume proves that. Right. Right. I've never been terminated before in my life. I've never been, I mean, I've been written up because I could get pretty belligerent. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know, I'm I'm very tactful and I know when to I know how to pick my battles. Sure. So, you know, full, you know, a little shortened history of my Lego stunt uh i i was pulled out or i worked retail for a very long time for urban outfitters after college like i was running multiple different locations in the la area mm-hmm. and then uh, you know lego opportunity popped up to run the you know glendale location mm-hmm. and i took it mm-hmm. right you know they paid me about the same i didn't mm-hmm. really get a hefty pay raise or anything like that i just sure. wanted something different i didn't want right. to fold clothes anymore yeah i don't want to merchandise anymore they just tell you put stuff on the wall put on the wall like right. i wanted a more easier time and it's lego like this is kind of when i was getting into it mm. i wasn't really fully invested but i was into it mm-hmm. um i didn't disclose that i was a fan mm. that was the thing i remember one of the questions that they asked was uh are you a lego fan of some sort like well, how, what's your history with lego and i just told them the normal gist which is true mm-hmm. you know i just recently like started picking up some sets i thought it was cool blah 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 blah, blah. i didn't tell them the full regalia right. of like where I am. Like I, like I did have a YouTube at the time, but it was very, you know, just vlog centered around sure. my children and myself and nowhere near where it's at today. Right. Um, so it wasn't until they found out I was a fan mm. through, uh, I think M&R and they, 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 they saw my, they, they saw that I had a relationship with him mm-hmm. and then they were like hesitant. That's when I got my mm. final warning. I went straight to a final warning Yeah. because why? Right. I was a fan. That's why Yeah. you're, 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 you're putting me against, uh, I'm being guilty with uh, association. Sure. That's kind of messed up. Yeah. If I really wanted to by now, I could have shared so many things and I right. haven't. Mm-hmm. Um, and I also forget that I, I also have like a, you know, a secret clearance in the military. Like I know not, yeah. to, I know how to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> right. right? I, don't, I don't just tell people stuff. So like, anyways, long story short, they found a reason to turn me was, uh, and that's the reason why I'll just straight up say it. I know I'm, not, I'm disclosing a lot here and I haven't, I haven't really talked about this mm-hmm. openly in my own context. I've said mm-hmm. it in other places, but not on my own. So thanks for being here yeah, to listen to this and me vent. And uh, it's my, this is my own counseling session. So I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> Got you. I, I actually need this. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely shaking. Like I'm not, like if you can't see on the table right now, I'm trying not to shake the table because my my leg is like moving up and down, and I, I hardly get this way. I, I take drugs to keep me calm. Like right, this. not not illicit. They're all legal. Right, <laughs> it's all prescribed. <laughs> um, uh, but anyways, so the the first season of Lego Masters of the Star Wars. Yeah, right. My my store was tasked to provide Lego Master Season 1 with the bricks that they need when they came in. So sometimes the producers would come in. Sometimes, you know, uh, the, the Lego Masters themselves would come in. Not the Lego Master. I'm talking about, like, Brick Master Amy. And, like, yeah. you know, that, like they would come in, and then they would request. Like, they would use their discount to get sets, right? Mm-hmm. So that was, my, that was my job. Whenever they needed something, do it. And right before, oh, my God, this exact weekend, wow. this Saturday, Whenever I was working with Lego, which was 2019, mm-hmm. so this exact anniversary was exact. What time is it? Yeah, it just happened. <laughs> oh my god! So, 
So I, I like the Bruce came in. They needed an emergency buy for Star Wars sets because mm. there was a Star Wars episode. They needed that the Y wing, all that kind of stuff. I'm yeah, like, come in. I need you to come in before we open mm-hmm. because I have a huge. I'm gonna have a huge line. I, I just need. To, I need to get you in and out. I had some technical difficulties with computers because their tech sucks. Yeah. So um, and then you know whatever, in and out, peace. Then they tried to return the, the stuff at a different store, which I told them not to do. Oh, no. They're supposed to return to mine. So I get the inventory comes back. You don't hurt another store, blah, blah, right. blah. They didn't do that. So now that other store flags me for doing something sketch. Oh, no. Because I was switching back and forth with the computers. So I use my number and then my employee's number because we're, we can't, I can't walk in both. Yeah. I, I'm frozen. I need to go on that one. They thought, they thought I was doing something shady. Three weeks later, like two weeks later, I go into my, I go into the back room and I'm being bombarded. I have the LP, they're, you know, Third party LP, uh, loss prevention person, mm-hmm. district manager. And then I have to sit down in the triangle. So I'm like, I'm familiar with this. Yeah. I know what this is. Uh-huh. So I I, just, I go with the flow. They tried questioning me about, they, they questioned transaction. And I'm like, uh, and I explained it. I'm like, this is exactly what happened. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is, what it is. And then since there was no fault there, since everything had a logical explanation, it's not like I stole anything. Everything just came back to, everything's can't come back. It's yeah. not like, you know, I, I sold to, and this is a legitimate reference person that I was mm-hmm. supposed to deal with. So that's checked out. Check. Right. Now they're now the district manager is trying to figure out what else. Mm-hmm. So then he looks at my schedule and he's like, well, why are you working every day from seven to three? I'm like, I'm not. That just I don't I work all the time. Mm-hmm. I just put myself on there because it's Kronos. You just put yourself in there. Yeah. I'm automatic. I'm salary. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's like, well, I want you to put you're supposed to close. I'm like, I do close. I closed yesterday, I closed the night before, mm-hmm. blah, 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 blah. So nothing there. Mm-hmm. And then he finds out, then he looks and he sees that I sent I let two of my employees go home for Christmas. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, these two are these two are the only employees that don't live here. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna let them go home for a couple of days and they can come back. My staff is completely functional without them. Mm-hmm. I've staffed for this reason. Right. And then they're like, we're gonna turn me for decision making. And at the same time, I was going to I was uh in therapy for decision making. Because that's when I started seeing a shrink yeah. and seeing counseling for my decision makings that I did overseas doing the stuff that I did. Yeah. So you can see where that kind yeah. of put me. So I was, I was terminated and they were like, do you want to walk out the back? And I'm like, no, I walked into the front, I'm to the front. Mm-hmm. And he was kind of shocked by that. So, I mean, he was to, in admission, he was, I don't know if it was his decision. I don't really know who's was. I mean, I suspect who it was and it was really high up there. Um, that no matter what I said in that conversation, I was going to terminate with yeah. Like they, that was like their check. Cause mm-hmm. every, everything I gave them, it was, uh, validated. Right. So, oh, and I did disclose in writing that I have a disability. Mm-hmm. So legally, mm-hmm. and it has to do with decision making because it's like, you know, post-traumatic stress, anxiety, all that kind of stuff stemming from the military. Right. And that was disclosed in the very beginning. Mm-hmm. So technically what they did was unlawful, mm-hmm. but I didn't want to pursue legal action because sure. I just didn't know what to think. I was so hurt. Yeah. So you know, I left to the front and that, you know, to me was like, I'm proud of what I've done here. Like I turned the store around. Mm-hmm. Like you can't, you brought me here for, to make this store great. And mm-hmm. you can tell by the customer experience surveys that, you know, the sales, mm-hmm. how the staff love being here, mm-hmm. um, that, you know, I did something. Right. And they had a conversation later down the line with the staff. Cause they're like, what's wrong? Mm-hmm. Like what, what happened? Like, why are you guys all upset? Mm-hmm. Why is the morale low? And, yeah. and some of the guys stood up. They're like, what happened to shy? Mm. And they were like, Oh, we can't disclose that information. It's like, well, you brought him in here. He fixed a lot of things, mm-hmm. and then he disappeared. Yeah, and then you got, and then it went back to how it was before. Mm-hmm. So that was like another wake up. At least some satisfaction in my eyes. I'm like, oh, okay, sure. Thanks for sticking up for me. I appreciate that. And then I moved on. Yeah. So to me, Lan is more of a. Oh, and also I, that's the re- reason why I hate the the Christmas X wing. So every time I see it, I want to oh. like kick it because there <laughs> it's was a one, reminder. Yeah, because that, that, that was my set. Like I was supposed to get one of those for mm-hmm. free, mm-hmm. and they had one in the back mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. And this and the, whoever took over as interim ma- like store manager was like, just give it to you know the, the new person that comes in. And they're like, oh. we should give it a shot. I'm like, no, we can't. And I'm like, oh. so that that was like another because because remember they also turned me. Right before my birthday, mm-hmm. right before Christmas, and right before my daughter was born. So this is all hits so all, oh. all this emotion. It's yeah. just like sitting there festering inside. Sure. So land to me was like my redemption. Sure. Right. I like I want I love this company so much. Yeah. Obviously, you see what I'm doing here. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, all the things I do for my communities and like outside the, the outside the scope of of, of a camera mm-hmm. for Lego. Yeah. Right. And I just I just want a pat on the back. Yeah. 
That's like, that is it. I just want to thank you or we're sorry. Sure. Like that, that is it. Um, and, and, and I know the history of the, of the company. I know what they're capable of. I know they're not this, you know, you know, the rose tinted color glasses have been removed from my eyes a long time ago. And a lot of people that, especially those who just came in, don't see that. They mm -hmm. think this, they think Lego is this impeccable, like, a company that can do no wrong mm -hmm. and that's not true and that's why when i see them put on a high pedestal about their stance on the military i'm like mm -hmm. eh, should, nah, yeah man <laughs> i don't buy that so but you know that's just my own personal bias and gripes with it so in the end though like being rejected from land it, it's not being rejected from land for me right it's why am i not okay to be with a brand mm. like what is it is it because of my military community sure. is it because i'm a veteran or is it because i was fired right if it was because i was fired i would love that yeah. like i would be like okay your social came up and you were terminated and we can't have you back here right please just tell me that right uh, just tell me that if it, even if it's my veteran community like okay all right that's yeah. what it is i'm not changing who i am right you know i'm gonna stay if this if me being a veteran me being part of the united states military is a problem mm -hmm. for you or it can be controversial or political nothing new news to me i it's it's i just want you to tell me right i want you to be honest and that's and that was the whole thing in the beginning mm -hmm. of me getting terminated is that you guys weren't honest with me right just tell me i was a, uh, the reason why you wanted me out is because i was a fan and you didn't like that from the very beginning mm. and you just found bs reasons to turn me right that's that's the reason why the whole land thing is so like it hits so hard sure for me like sure. and then and it, i don't care if all these like new joints come in with no with very minimal you know, communities I, I respect any community that's out there mm -hmm. with anybody whether it be on tiktok instagram youtube twitch mm -hmm. or whatever other platforms you want throughout there if you're small and you got in good for you right if you're big and you got in good for you mm -hmm. it's i'm indifferent to it <laughs> I, I what i really care about for me in my stance was i just want closure sure and if claire were here right now she'd be like shy shut up <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you know why, right? You know why? Like, right. I do know why you I'm do. not, I'm not, I, yeah. I know why I'm right. like, those are two reasons right there, but I wanted to come out of their mouths because, because <laughs> again, it is, it was a yeah. very traumatic time in my life yeah. and it, it led me to, you know, in the end it, it, it benefited me. Sure. Like, I, I'm winning now because of that. Yes. And I have to remind myself that I am like, yes. I, I joined the post office right after cause I didn't know what to do. And uh -huh. I was also doing COVID. Um, so you know, I worked really hard there and I worked too hard there. You did. They, 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 the, all the, the old timers were like, you're working too hard. They're going to abuse you. And they did. So I, that was when I was like, that was my cut in the sand. My, my line in the sand with a sword. Like I'm gonna put me, I'm gonna put me first. Yes. I've always put yes. work in front of my family and my friends. Um, and it's done nothing but hurt me. Yes. So that was when I was like, I, I finally took a stance for myself that I'm not going to be abused like this anymore. I'm not going to work for someone that doesn't care about me anymore. Yes. I'm going to go work. I'm going to go find work that allows me to give, you know, a crap about my own family. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. I finally, you know, it took some time, but I found a, a company that is, gives me work-life balance. Right. You know, a team that cares, a company that gives a crap. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, as a company, as a company, they're going to do what they're going to do. But right. for the most part, right now, in my face, I can do this right right now. I can go to Brickwell, Chicago. Yeah. I can go to Brick Slopes. I can go to, I can, normally I'll be working today, oh, Saturday, wow. right? But I mean, like in my other previous jobs, if I still work for Lego oh, or yeah. the post office, I'll be working right now. Right. I'm not, I'm here. I have yeah. weekends off. I have holidays off. I've never yeah. had a holiday off in my life. Oh, I worked during all of them. Yeah. You know, being in retail, that's, 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 that's what, right? When I left, when I left Best Buy, oh my, having right? Thanksgiving was oh the my. greatest. No, no, no. It's not just Thanksgiving. It's Black Friday. Black off. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> right. You have Black Friday off. Yeah. So, you know, I've never been more happier than I am right now mm. in my entire life prior military. Totally. You know what I mean? Like, yes, I'm stressed out. <laughs> yes, yeah. I have problems. Yeah. But I'm happy, generally right. happy. Right, right now, doing this, like I just said right before, I'm in my happy place. Yeah, like this doesn't generate a lot of views in comparison to my other channel, sure, or what all these other creators are doing, sure. But like uh, I've said it again, like in other places that like, I generally just enjoy conversation and talking to people. Yeah, and when it's reciprocated and when it's received and re repeated back to me, like it's an all over, us all over win. Totally. So in the end, I should be telling myself, "Thank you, Lego." For yeah. firing me, because if it if you didn't, I'd still be there working right now. Yeah, prepping for the weekend. Well, if Lego wasn't going to tell you, I I will I will say it and say thank you 
for for what you do. I mean, obviously, it, there was a you talking about that experience was tough, but it's it's, it's inspiring that again, despite um, despite adversity, despite a company like Lego, even you know saying the opposite, um, you are happier than than ever, and I think that's the most important part about all of this being not being in the land being in the land is that you stay true to who you are mm -hmm. and you stay true to your content uh, and you do what makes you happy yeah you're right and yeah. so uh, I, and I bring that up because being in the land sometimes you know the, the misconception is well now you got to be doing this and da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. um, but contrary to popular belief one of the first things they told me was we chose you for a reason we like what you're doing and we don't want you to change it. Yeah. This opportunity is hopefully going to more enhance that uh, ability and give you the ability to, you know, to do more. Uh -huh. But do more of what you do. Like. Yeah. Do more do, of what you do. Be, do what you're doing for us to accept you. Like, do what you were doing before. That's right. the, This is the reason why we accept you in this program. Don't exactly. change your content mm -hmm. to facilitate what we what you think we want. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I think that's a, that's a hardcore misconception that a lot of new people that come... I mean, a lot of I, a lot of LEGO fans won't say free... Like, say no to free LEGO right. sets, right? But then we also got to keep in mind about, like, getting the vendor, right? Mm -hmm. So if I got the vendor for free and I had a deadline mm -hmm. that was just moved up. Yeah. <laughs> like... I would say I can't do it. Yeah, I'm a parent that has right. to take my kids here and there. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. And and a lot of people won't voice that because sure. they're afraid maybe if I don't do this, they're gonna kick me out. Right. Right. And there isn't that. There isn't that. No, there isn't really a deadline. I mean, obviously, the, the real only deadline is whether or not you can say anything before that. Mm -hmm. Anything after is you free know is a, is, a, is free game. It's up to you. It's up to you and your community how your community will take it. Um, what's best for you as a creator and what's best for your community and how, mm -hmm. whether or not they want your voice right away, right when the set drops or right when the embargo is up or whether or not they can do that. I struggle with that because I have to, have to wait until after the embargo to stream it. And sometimes the days that I'm not, I only stream Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, I have to wait until, a, you know, a day or two after that to start building whatever it is. Like, yeah. I, I can't even. Like, I don't even, sometimes I don't even open the box and I'm just and like, <laughs> oh, I just want to hold it, I just want to build it. But no, I'm, it's community first. I'm always putting my community first in, in at least the Lego space yeah. and making sure that they get a genuine experience of me building whatever it is. And so while everybody has posted their review of the Avengers Tower, um, I've only spent one stream doing that. Yeah. And so I'm like, well, sure, you can watch all of these videos and they're great videos don't get me wrong i've watched a lot of them a good handful of them some of them are good videos some of them are good videos <laughs> i'm completely honest <laughs> but um i'll be the critic on this one sure <laughs> <laughs> i mean I, you you watch it for what you watch yeah. you watch it for i i was just mainly watching it for details stuff that i can highlight in my own yeah stream. yeah of course of course right. i'm just being <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing bitter dog. I'm right. seeing bitter. <laughs> no, it's all good. <laughs> you know that's fine. that's fine. You know the the the, the sour patch kids, right? Yeah, let me be that. sour, sweet, sweet sour, whatever. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's 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 about staying true to yourself, staying to staying true to your content, doing what makes you most happy. And I think that's where uh, the validation, you know, can can you know really yeah. hit you. Yeah, you know where because something. Because adversity hits you, you have to change that. You have to change what makes you happy. You have to change your mm -hmm. content. You have to be somebody different or do something different. When in actuality, you know, doing what you love and doing what you've been doing is really what you had to do all along. You know. So, what do you recommend for all these uh, for the new class of land members that have just joined? Like, what what would you tell them like right now before they start doing getting all these sets for free and start reviewing them? Sure. What would you tell them? I would tell them what what Lego told me and say, you were chosen for a reason. You represent a particular community that Lego wants to reach. Mm -hmm. um, and, and they found you to be the best liaison between you uh, and the company mm -hmm. and them, yeah. you know, uh, the company and them. And so they chose you because of the content you were making prior to the land title. Yeah. And I think that's the most important to, stay true to who you are, what, what kind of content you were doing. Mm -hmm. um, 
and sure you'll have more content now maybe a little bit or at least stuff to make more content it sounds on. like stress to me yeah <laughs> and it can be it can be because you know i'm i'm mindful of um of of dates and bar dates when the set's gonna come out when a set can be popular and don't mess up too don't mess up don't be yeah. that guy don't be that guy that calls you know a calls a trooper a stormtrooper or whatever it is like oh, it's not that i mean don't be that guy to get called out of brick slopes oh so yeah <laughs> <laughs> that too, that too, um, and uh, ultimately it it, go, it boils down to you know before you were in the land, mm -hmm. you know you you were obviously making this content for a reason, and I would hope that it was uh, because it made you happy because it was fun. You loved doing it, and I know that was a concern of mine was was being in the land going to turn my hobby of building Lego and doing it on Twitch into a job yeah and that was a big concern before i even applied before i even thought about it i was like is this something that's going to turn into a job and am i, mm -hmm. I going to end up hating it yeah and um luckily because i've stayed true to uh, my community on twitch mm -hmm. because i've stayed true to doing things what you know the way that i was doing them prior to being in the land um it's continued to you know help the channel grow i've continued to love doing what i do um, and I've continued to keep a balance. Like, again, it, it's it's been three days a week for a long time, since the very beginning. Um, and I'm not overwhelmed. I still have my weekends. I still have... <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, for, I think it works very well for the type of stuff that you do. Sure. Because you, 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 you live stream building. Right. And I think that's such a... I remember earlier, like, why me? Mm -hmm. Right? And I think, like, you're 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 perfect. Like, your, your, your love for cosplay and Star Wars is apparent. Mm -hmm. um, your love for Lego is apparent, mm -hmm. um, and you don't need to change anything. You just build, and now you're given the tools mm -hmm. by Lego to just do just that. Right. So I feel like it's a you know it's it's the people that you know are on Instagram and on YouTube, you know they automatically think I have to review this. Right. They're like, no, you don't need to review anything. No. You can just take a picture with it on Instagram right. and talk about it for like a second. Yeah. Like I'm waiting. I, I, we, I remember on Kai Bricklick, we were talking to uh, um, Cheesy Studios, mm -hmm. um, and, and Claire brought up, like, you don't have to build it exactly like the set. Mm -hmm. You can do a mock. Like, I expect you, a Lego mm -hmm. master, to mm -hmm. do, you know, a Lego master contestant. I'm sorry for anyone that takes offense to that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a Lego master contestant to, like, build something immaculate with a set. Right. Like that, I've, I've seen it happen. You know, he's done it like at least once or twice. I know, you know, Iceberg uh, is attempting to do it as well. Yep. But there's so, like the Avengers Tower that just came out, right? Mm -hmm. I, it's the same video over and over, same yeah. photo over and over again. And that's, I think, facilitating the hate behind Land because now their feeds is just all the just same, the same thing. thing. And you know, we all follow the same people right. for the most part. I mean, obviously we have our own little communities that don't follow other people, but you know, like why am I going to post a video of the Avengers tower when, you know, someone like Tiago is going to post the Avengers tower. Mm -hmm. I don't compare and can like remotely to what he can do with the review. And mm -hmm. like, why would I even try? And right. I think a lot of people accept <laughs> that fact. Like Tiago, if he puts out a, re a review on it, like, Oh yeah, my, my video's not going to do well. Right. Uh, Cause everyone turns to him for that. But like, what I wanted to see was someone out there not build the Avengers Tower. Sure. Like, take the Avengers Tower and build the battle scene below the Avengers Tower. Because sure. you have all those figs. You can do so much more with all those gray pieces. Yeah. Or create the, you know, an Avengers Tower that got destroyed. Or yeah. create the base, yeah. the Avengers base out mm -hmm. of the Avengers Tower. Something, just something different. Um, and I think that's a huge opportunity that a lot of lab members aren't facilitating. Sure. They're like, you guys could be creative. Right. And do something cool. And I think, you know, it comes back down to what do I do? Do I take risks? Like, mm -hmm. is Lego going to is Lego going to approve me doing this? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think I, I think there's a huge opportunity that's being wasted sure. in land. Sure. Um, that which also I think in a lot of people who are seasoned, um, just like you know when you have like season eight fools watch Lego Masters. Sure. It's like, okay. <laughs> This isn't Lego Masters. This is a show. Right. No, this is not what real mocks are. Right. Right. It's it's starting to become the same thing with with land members. Sure. Where you're like, okay, we get it. You got it for free. What are you going to tell me different than I can't find anywhere else? Mm -hmm. Right. Where's the creativity behind what we wanted from you from the beginning? Why we subscribed or followed you on mm -hmm. Instagram or YouTube? Like, I came here because you're going to do quirky videos, mm -hmm. uh, you know, short form content holding mm -hmm. a set. Yeah. That's what I expect. Yeah. You know, I don't expect you to 
build it. And if you do and you make it fun, cool. Sure. That, that, that only makes it better. Yeah. But, you know, if you're starting to dry out and you look like you're burnt and yeah. you look like you're tired and you don't see the content. Because there are some creators out there that, I, you know, I'm huge fans of that since it became land members, they're not what I followed them for. It's not that anymore. Right. It's like I, 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 I miss this mm -hmm. creativity and I think like land's hurting you. Sure. So it's either you let them hurt you. Right. Not intentionally. That's not the point. Or you, you know, you recalibrate. Right. So to prevent the recalibration, mm -hmm. I would just not get in the habit of reviewing. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Or, I mean, again, like put your own spin to it. Obviously, um, a, a, a lot of the time when I'm sitting there building a set on Twitch, I'm not talking about this. No, set. you're not. You're talking about this. <laughs> no, no, no. But, but see, that's you. And, that, yeah. and that's what makes you you. And you, right. you're keeping it you. I'm talking about like, Everyone else is starting sure. to put, I mean, I get it. That's what you think you have to do. Right. But like, you know, they don't need that. They don't need to. Don't need right. That. And take a picture on Instagram, show it as a story, put that in your report and then do something fun. Sure. Fine. Build it if you want to build on the side, but yeah. don't stress yourself out. Like I don't want, well, what I'm afraid of is watching these new land members burn out. Right. Me too. And, and we already risk you and I, you know, outside of land burning out. Right. Right. And, and, and for me, it's easier. I could just take a break and not care because I have something to fall back on. Sure. Right? I'm my actual job. I'm a family, my friends as a support system. Mm -hmm. And even fellow creators as a support system. But some of these are like, this is your life, right? right? Or you're gonna, you want it to make it your life or you want to, you know, you're trying to gain some monetary value out of it. Sure. But then when you, when you risk like what the fire inside, you know, a creator, mm -hmm. if you risk that, it's not for the better. Right. You know? Yeah. So, you know, and I, and I get it. People want to appease what they've just been given because sure. it's a huge opportunity that a lot of people don't get right. myself included mm -hmm. and I'm bitter still. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to hold and, that up there. I'm gonna keep the <laughs> it's good. It's a good running bit. I have to admit it. I just have to, I just have to. like what? Yeah, I'm bitter. Yeah. I didn't get in the land. Right. I, I shouldn't care, but I do. I'm, I'm self-conscious about it. I'm going to be a bully towards everyone. That's how <laughs> you know what? You suck. Uh, thank you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm happy that you're on that. You represent the Filipinos. That's right. Nicole, too. one of us, one of us. Yeah, yeah Nicole too. Um, no, but I no, I, I totally agree. And I think that again, it boils down to what makes you happy, mm -hmm. why you, why you got into the land in the first place, and again, what community first, right? Community first. What what got them to really like your videos, like the comments and stuff that you got before you in the land, like, oh, I really, you know, love that really, you know, little silly, silly joke or silly sound bite that you put into the, you know, you know, into the set. It really sets you apart from any other stuff that I, that I watch. Um, it makes uh, Lego really fun. Mm -hmm. Right. And it makes you, it sets you apart from other people. And I think when you continue to grow your community and want to do things to grow your community, which is one of the things that Lego looks for in a in a land member is mm -hmm. your community, how you represent your community, your com how diverse your community is, who you're reaching out to, um, what their likes and dislikes are, and and whatnot. That's one of the reasons why I, you know, I feel like I got in was I reach a, a completely different demographic than mm -hmm. a lot of people. But um, like you as a land member got chosen for you and your community. Um, not just you as a, you know, and your ability to talk. And Do you accept that for yourself? What was that? Do you agree with that yourself? Because you just said that you, they chose you for a reason. Do you think that you were chosen for the right reasons? I, because I know you had a little bit of hesitation about why did Lego choose me? I do. And I struggle with that. I, the reason why I have that hesitation is because I struggle with that every day. I struggle why? with. Why? Why? Why is that? I think that in comparison to other it's 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 a really bad thing isn't a numbers game it's a numbers game yeah it's like, a numbers game it it's a it's a comparison to other creators game mm -hmm. you know it's the whole just i mean it's a it's a creator competition in you that, right that, that, that's that's it although we don't say it, it yeah. there is a little bit of competition in, in in creating there is there's that and just the imposter the imposter syndrome it's always mm. it's, it's always a there thing it is. it's always a thing with it, most if not all content mm -hmm. creators and in dealing with that imposter syndrome. Um, and that's the reason why I hesitate, but all in all, I, I have to remember that, um, I have this opportunity. Not a lot of people have. Yeah. And I not was, a lot of people, right. <laughs> <laughs> I have this opportunity that, that, that shy does not have. Oh, damn. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I have to make him proud. <laughs> I have to rep now. <laughs> you gotta rep the Filipinos. I gotta bro. represent the for the Filipinos. No, no, um, that you uh, should be doing content Tagalog. I no one is there. No one, Nicole. I don't know. I guess I could. I should have to, like make make videos in Tagalog and know. and post them up as a redub like Mr. Beast does. Yes. Like, I don't think there isn't any creators in the Philippines and there's a huge Lego population over there. There is. There's so, a big Lego population. I, I think like, if I look at my own analytics, a good chunk of the demographics is in the Philippines. Oh, really? Yeah. It's not a lot. It's like 5%. Sure. But 5% of anybody watching my videos is a good number. It's like, you know, 20 people. I mean, luckily, a lot of the Philippines speaks English. I mean, that's the language, right? Right. <laughs> Technically, it's English. <laughs> it's English. They yeah. teach English. You yeah, know? Yeah, so yeah. If you go to school, you're taught English. Right. Um, but I think it'd be fun just to kind of... Just to see what happens. Yeah. That could be an opportunity to anyone out there. If you speak Tagalog and you make content, starting to make content, redub in Tagalog and see what happens. Yeah. Philippines. Philippines very prideful. Pride, uh, oh, yeah. Prideful we know. People. As you can tell, we're very prideful in this entire conversation. Me being... Bitter. <laughs> <laughs> the Filipinos will support you, whether or not you're bitter or not, whether or not you got into the land or not. <laughs> that's true. Any Filipino side that's followed me, uh, non-creator wise, has been very supportive, no matter what I say. Right. I can literally say the world sucks, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah, totally." <laughs> He's saying it for all of us. Yes. <laughs> oh man. So, all right. So you know, any any land people are watching, I. I I wish nothing but the best for you. And, and I hope they don't, because I feel like later down the line, they might get into a world where like, why? But I guess, you know, you give me the reassurance to, you know, you're doing good things, keep doing it. And right. to myself, you're doing good things, you're, keep doing it. Exactly. You get, you're doing good things. And, and that is regardless of land or not. Mm -hmm. You're doing good things, keep doing it. You have a community, you're representing a community. They love your stuff. You love your stuff. You're doing good things. Keep doing it. And I think that although at this particular time, you may or may not have gotten into the land, uh, you might not just be who they're looking for at this moment. Oh, good point. That's right. He did say that. Jordan, Jordan yeah, said, said, did say that. said this. And you might not be who they're looking for at this moment. That might not be the community that they're looking to target now. Mm. Right? But as long as you stay true to your community, stay true to who you are, there can be a, a moment in which you can very well be the community that they need to reach out to. So that's for all you Star Wars people out there. If you know, Once David <laughs> quits, uh, and that, that, that seat's open. Seat's open, yeah. Seat's open at the, at the, for the, at the Star, Wars Star Wars Lego yeah, yeah, right? table. Uh, no, so okay, fine. So I'm going to finish with this then. Uh, should I attempt to apply for land again? 100%. 100%. But I think that all in all, it shouldn't put a particular value of who you are as a person and then who you are as a content creator. Can't you just be negative with me and be like, <laughs> you know, you don't have to put a positive light to it. You know, gotta be so try hard, do harder, yeah, do there better. You go, man. Do better. Be the do Filipino better. parents. <laughs> like saying, Why no. did you not get into the land? Anna? Oh, exactly. Why did you not get Why it, is this not an A? If Brett can get in, if Brett can get in there, if Nicole can get in there. How come if your cousin can get in there, how come you cannot get in there? I'm dead. <laughs> That's exactly what Try harder, told. do better, make better videos, make more videos. Change your content. <laughs> No, that's Stop not wearing it. that hat. <laughs> Nobody cares. That makes your your head look very big. It makes it makes you look weird compared to you compared to Fred over there. Are, oh. you, be, are you being real? I'm no. <laughs> no, the hat looks great. <laughs> no, uh it's I, I and, and I think that's just this true just just in content creation in general. I think like it's so easy to get lost in uh, who you want to be and who you are because you're constantly comparing yourself to others and seeking validation where you shouldn't see where you don't necessarily need to seek validation. That's a content creator issue as in general. In general. Yeah, that's just pure, just not just land. That's, <laughs> that's just not everybody. just everybody. Like, that's just everybody. That's, and that's just generation too. Oh yeah, for sure. Our generation seeks validation where uh it it doesn't necessarily it's not necessary. No, it's not. That's uh, not all in all you're you're good people, you're you're good content. Um, and at this moment, it might not be, it might not look great, but I mean, Shy is a testament to this that although it's not good now, um, there is definitely hope that it will be 
uh, just as good if not uh, than than what you want it to be, mm. if not better. Oh, tear. If not better. And that's where you are. That's where you You're are, You're giving man. me hope, man. I was, just, I, I was coming to this conversation like just going to be angry, you know? And I, <laughs> I got a little emotional a little bit, but like I didn't really get angry. I was just bitter. <laughs> it's inside my mind. I'm talking trash. Right. <laughs> <laughs> talking trash about everybody got in. I'm like, why the hell? <laughs> Who are you? You know what? <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Why? I didn't even know you existed till right now. Until you <laughs> decided to tell everybody. Or did someone? No, nah, I'm just kidding. I, I did not think that whatsoever. I don't. I don't really care. I'm happy for the people that got in, totally. uh, especially the ones that are like I call friends. So, sure. You know, shout out to all of you. Um, shout out to everyone who's in land. You know, I, although I might talk trash, it's all in fun and games. Yeah. Um. You know, this is this type, the game that we're all in is uh it's a very wide spectrum of what you can possibly do and yeah. land is only a small portion of that sure um and ultimately it doesn't define who you are as a creator at Being least it shouldn't that. and if it you should. use it as such you're the reasons why you're making land look bad right <laughs> <laughs> there it is there it is there's yeah. the thing gonna we're sing. gonna we're gonna we're going to make you hopeful but also just i'm just, mm, <laughs> just get, 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 little. give me my little <laughs> I love it. I right. love it. All right, man. Thank you again. Thank you for having me, dude. Uh, till next time. Till next time. Peace, Peace. out. All right, dude. Yeah, yeah, scoop that was, uh, I think that was good. Give a great review. You want a heart to heart to sitting on the stoop. We're not concerned with the views of the Lego group because we're the misfit bricks. This is what we do. Yeah.